Hello, I'm Eddie Franich, and I'm the broker and owner of Golden Gate Real Estate Management. We're a full-service property management company right here in Contra Costa County. And our topic of discussion today is how to get rid of that problem tenant. Well, great question, common question. Well, for us as professional property management company, we rely a lot on our contract, okay? So we put our contracts together, which are created by attorneys, and professional uh, organizations such as the California Apartment Association and the California Association of Realtors. We also have additional addendums, again, which are approved and created by our attorneys. So, when you have a problem tenant, your best friend can be that contract, or it can be your worst enemy if you don't have a great contract with a lot of addendums and house rules and so forth. Now, once you have that problem tenant, Communication will go a long ways. Oftentimes, it's just a matter of miscommunication. The tenant didn't really realize how important it was not to violate the lease in reference to having a friend stay there for two or three weeks at a time. Well, if you have an unauthorized tenant, they need to understand the importance of that in California state law that uh, it's critical that they don't do that because then we have to evict them and it kind of goes on and on. So when the tenant really understands why we have unusual things in the contract, you discuss it with them, oftentimes it's resolved. They say, oh, I didn't really understand that. And you have now an abiding con um, uh, tenant, and it all works out well. Negotiations can also be an option. Of course, these are all options before going directly to evicting uh, your tenant because you always lose and it costs you money, you get vacancies and so forth. So. Negotiating, for example, if your, your tenant is behind on a month, well, you want to put them on a pay, payment plan. Make sure it's in writing. Make sure you have specific dates and amounts of money that they have to pay. And more importantly, what will happen if they don't abide by this secondary contract that we have created. But oftentimes, rather than evicting them, you can simply go through this and it works fine. And last but not least, eviction. There may be a time when you have to evict this tenant. They will not abide or get any better as far as uh, following the contract. So my advice is always to hire an attorney, specifically an eviction attorney. Work with him closely. Make sure that your time frames and all your documentation are uh, within the time and your, your, your T's are crossed, your I's are dots, and you will get that tenant out uh, safely and in a timely fashion. Well, hopefully that will help you out a little bit with how to deal with that troubled tenant. I'm Eddie Franch with Golden Gate Real Estate and Management. If you have any questions about this topic or any other topics, feel free to give us a call.